Welcome to this Football Manager 2016 preview video where I'll be letting you guys know which teams I think will be fun to manage on the new Football Manager. Over the next few weeks before FM16 is released, I'll be doing some more preview videos, maybe just sort of talking through what I'll be doing on the channel, my beta save, my main save maybe, and getting you guys to give your opinions on what you'd like me to do. Before I get started on this, in the description below there'll be a couple of links to good FM16 deals to, to pre-order the game. Green Man Gaming 1, that includes the beta, the two-week early access code. Uh, that's a bit more expensive than the CD keys one, but that doesn't include the beta. So that's up to you. I'll be tweeting out other links to, to good deals I found over the coming weeks as well. So don't worry if you if you can't um, buy it right now. Anyway, let's get on with this video. So first of all, I'm going to start with some English Premier League teams. Most of the teams in this video will probably be teams that I know more about. So if there's any teams you think that should be included on this list... Obviously, there's a lot more teams that should be included on this list, but add them in the comment section below. Let me know why you think it would be a fun save on FM16. Obviously, there's so much choice. So I've just handpicked a few that I think will be fun. So first of all, Bournemouth, the newly promoted team to the Premier League. They've had quite a bit of help with, from a, a Russian millionaire, so they've had some monetary help to get up to the Premier League. But it's still an incredible story for this team, which has a tiny stadium compared to other Premier League teams. But I think they'd be great fun. They're really, you know, very attacking. They've got great players going forward. Callum Wilson, for example, top striker. And they've made some good signings, perhaps some signings a bit lacking compared to other teams. So it'd be a challenge to try and keep them up the first season. But after that, I think you can probably build the team to be a decent Premier League team and possibly... Um, over time get into Europe you know in, in a few seasons time those of you that are really good at the game out there probably will be able to, to blitz it straight away with Bournemouth but I think they'll be a great fun team to manage on the game their two top signings Max Gradle and Tyrone Mings obviously have got injured in real life but I don't know if they will be injured at the start of the game um, we'll, we'll have to see but if you are able to play with them obviously they're very strong players to have in that first season if not then it's even more of a challenge to try and keep them up in the Premier League next up is Crystal Palace who've had a very good start to this Premier League season under Alan Pardew continuing good work from last season where their lethal counter-attacking football has been a joy to watch and got them results the likes of Balassi and Zahar and Punchin just causing problems to, to teams, serious problems. So if you're to manage this team, you obviously want to replicate that and better it. They've got brilliant attacking players in Patrick Bamford on loan from Chelsea, Frazier Campbell, they've got Bakary Sacco scoring goals at the moment. They've got Shamak, don't forget him. Um, but yeah, Balassi is a star man and probably going to be a top player on the game. Dwight Gale as well, they've got up front. And then they've got a pretty solid defence as well. Hangland, Joel Ward's a great player. Sperroni in goal. Um, and the other goalie is Alex McCarthy. They've got Wayne Hennessy as well on the team, I think. Um, so they've got lots of options. Um, so a, a top team to manage. Connor Wickham as well, they signed him. So, you know, a really interesting team to manage. And I think you can, can easily get top 10 first season with this team. And then push on for Europe. Uh, they're on afterwards and maybe you know win a cup as well in the first couple of seasons that would be good so I think Crystal Palace would definitely be a fun save on the game next up is Stoke City who I think will probably be a popular choice to manage one of the teams in the Premier League that a lot of people will want to manage because of recent signings that they've made obviously they've been called Stoke alone and all of that under Mark Hughes they've played some decent football although they've struggled at the start of this season However, I think they'll be a fun team to manage. They've got great attacking players. They've got Bojan. They've got Ibrahim Afalai. They've got a strong midfield with Charlie Adam holding the middle. Um, and Altovic on the wing, a great player. Defence consisting of the legendary Glenn Johnson and Phil Bardsley. But Linden Goal will be a great uh, goalkeeper to, to see develop over the years and could be a goalkeeper for st your, your team for the next 10 or 15 years in game. So that's... Pretty amazing, really. And not forgetting Shakiri, who's an incredible signing for Stoke, will be a great player on the game. Imagine him and Bojan in the same team for Stoke. So I think Stoke will be a popular team to manage, and I also think they'll be a fun team to manage. I think you can easily get top 10 first season with this team as well. Uh, similar to sort of Crystal Palace in a way, I think. So um, definitely... 
have a go with Stoke at some point. So the last English Premier League team I'm going to mention is my team, West Ham United. Put up their new badge, which will be their badge from next season onwards, onwards when they move into the Olympic Stadium, simply because obviously in-game you'll have one season in at the bowling ground and then you'll have a new stadium, 54,000-seater stadium. That is a reason in itself to manage West Ham because of that extra income that will be coming into the team. They've obviously had an incredible start to the season as well at the time of recording. Uh, they've beaten Arsenal, Liverpool, Man City away from home under Billich. So they've got exciting players. Dimitri Payet, for example, will probably be you know, your star man. Decent strikers with Sacco, Valencia, uh, when he comes back from injury, Zarate, Andy Carroll. Lots of players up front to mix it up with. Strong midfielders, Alex Song on loan, Mark Noble, Kuyate. Their defence with Winston Reid, Creswell, Jenkinson right back, Tompkins as well. And Adrian in goal is a very good keeper. So I think they'll be a fun team to manage. And I think they'll be a popular team to manage this year because of their great start to the season and obviously their new stadium coming around at the end of the first season. So if you fancy checking out West Ham and managing them, I think you'll have a lot of fun. Next up is three English teams that have dropped down the divisions in recent years from the Premier League. Wigan Athletic, Sheffield United, Portsmouth. Now, Portsmouth, the last few years, has been a traditional save on football manager, a popular team to manage to try and get them back up to the Premier League. Of course, it's not long since they they won the FA Cup, uh, and now they're in League Two. Wigan and Sheffield United are in League One, but remember, Wigan have dropped down the divisions twice in a row. Uh, crazy decline for them from the Premier League. And Sheffield United have been stuck in League One a while now. Of course, Wigan are another team that have won the FA Cup in recent years. In 2013, they beat Man City in the final. So it is an incredible decline for Wigan. Sheffield United have been a frustrating team, I guess, especially for the fans, because they've been stuck in League One for far too long. And probably could be a frustrating save, as well as being a fun save. These three teams will all be fun to try and get back up to the Premier League and um, in the case of Sheffield United, re relive some of their history, and Wigan and Portsmouth relive some of their recent history, uh, but they all could be quite frustrating teams to manage as well, simply because it may take a bit longer to get them up than you would hope. Next up is the Italian team Parma, who famously have dropped down the divisions recently after terrible problems. You may already have seen the incredible Football Manager 2015 series from Dr. Benji. He's already done this challenge to try and get Parma up back to Serie A and, you know, dominate the world. Um, but it could be a really fun save on FM16 as well, uh, especially on FM16, because it's the first game where they will actually be in Serie D properly. Although, on recent years, I don't think it's ever been um, actually in the game. Serie D has never been in the game officially. So you may have to wait until someone's released an update uh, and made the Serie D league and put it into the game as a, an extra database. Either way, if it's officially put in the game for the first time or you have to play on someone else's database, it will definitely be a brilliant challenge, a fun challenge, uh, probably an, another frustrating challenge to try and get them all the way up. But certainly if you're into that sort of thing and trying to get a team back up divisions to relive their glory days then Palmer's definitely the one to do it with going back over to England I'm not sure why I've gone from England to Italy back to England just racking up the air miles there but FC United will certainly be a popular team to manage on FM16 and also a fun team to manage I'm sure now this is the first year that they are officially in the game because they have been promoted to the the Conference North, which is now known as the National League North or something like that. Now that's going to get a bit of getting used to. Anyway, they're, they're going to be a great team to manage because, you know, the history of FC United being created because of the Glazers going to Manchester United. And now they've climbed into the Conference Divisions or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's going to be fun to try and get them promoted all the way up to the Premier League and then challenge Manchester United. I challenge you guys that want to manage FC United, make them a bigger team than Manchester United on Football Manager 2016. See if you can do that. 
I challenge you. The first one that can win more Champions Leagues and league titles than Manchester United on FM16, send me some screenshots and I'll send you a toffee crisp. We've gone back to Italy and this time it's AC Milan. Now I could have gone for Inter but I've decided to go for AC Milan. Both teams very similar in that they were dominant in Italy for many years and have dropped off lately. Out of Europe even. Um, so crazy times for both clubs. But with AC Milan I think um, it'd be a great fun save because you've got Balotelli on loan. Now he's going to be frustrating but also a real challenge to try and calm down and try and get him to score plenty of goals. On FM15 he was a great player. He really was. I don't know if Sports Interactive would have downgraded him. I, I'm assuming they would have after a poor season at Liverpool. So challenge, a fun challenge, try and get Balotelli to be top scorer in Italy. And also alongside Carlos Bacca, who's a brilliant Colombian striker. I think you've got a good partnership there up front. So I think uh, Bacca and Balotelli could be a dominant force in Italy if you play your cards right. Lastly, I have gone with a national team, Iceland. Now, traditionally on Football Manager, people are less likely to manage national teams. They can be a bit boring. You're only playing a few games a year. But they are quite fun to try and win a Euros or a World Cup with. And I think Iceland will definitely be a fun save. In real life, they've qualified for their ever comp first ever competitive tournament, the Euro 2006 tournament. Amazing achievement to qualify over the likes of Holland. When they've only got a population of 330,000 people, you know, they don't have a huge number of people to pick from to play football. And they've got this group together. They've gelled brilliantly. They've got some cracking players in there. One of my favourites, Sigurdsson. I, I really want to go to Iceland one day. Not just because of, of Sigurdsson, but that's one of the reasons. No, it's a beautiful country from what I've seen. And great music. Sigur Ross. I love that band. So that wraps this video up pretty much. Please hit that like button if you found it interesting and and are thinking of managing some of these teams that I've mentioned. Please let me know other teams that you think will be fun saves in the comment section below. I've obviously missed out loads of teams that will be fun. And I've just noticed I say the word obviously far too much, so I need to sort that out. But let me know in the comment section below which teams you'll be managing, which teams maybe you'd like me to see manage on FM60. And I've already decided my beta save, by the way, the two weeks uh, before FM16 is properly released on the 13th of November. There'll be the beta, as usual. I will manage a team for that two-week period. Just do one season with a big Premier League team. That's the clue at the moment. And uh, after that, I will start a main save. I might do, even do two beta saves. We'll see. Uh, but I'll just be doing one season with that team just to get the ball rolling and you interested in the game. So maybe you can uh, let me know who you think I'm going to be managing. I've already decided, so you can't change my... my um, my decision on that but let me know some possible FM16 saves your suggestions in the comment section below of brilliant teams to manage or fun saves to do on FM16 may influence me over the next year anyway thanks for watching guys please hit that subscribe button if you're new hit that like button and I'll see you soon